It's a crossroads in Vancouver history. With the addition of the Hornby Street separated bike lane, this intersection will connect two major bike arteries into the heart of downtown. It was a full house at City Hall on Tuesday, packed with people wanting to speak their minds on the issue. The biggest opposing opinion came from small businesses along the corridor. The point that we've made about this specific proposal is that 97% of businesses on Hornby Street that we surveyed do not support the proposal. One such business is Wall Center Fine Spirits. I haven't actually heard anything from the city themselves about what's happening, about what our alternatives will be. Their biggest concern is about how the shop will function once the lane is in place. We didn't know too many details, so it was very difficult to have a certain opinion on what would happen and what is happening now. City Hall says they will work together with the businesses during the construction of the lanes and will adapt their plan where necessary. It would be nice to see maybe a, a loading and unloading zone specifically for us. As far as I know, everybody's going to Howe and to walk from Howe to Hornby with a bunch of boxes will be quite difficult. The businesses are one side of the coin. The other side is, of course, the bikers who are singing a different tune. Uh, the positive aspects are that th there's a potential of having just as many people riding on Hornby Street by bike as the two lanes will occupy single occupancy vehicles. So that will double the amount of traffic on Hornby Street. City Hall is lauding the Burrard Street Bridge bike lane as a success, and they say ridership down Dunsmere has jumped from 500 to 2,000 riders a day since it was installed this May. Cyclists on the road seem to cite one reason above all they feel better with the separated lanes. It's safer. <laughs> It just feels a lot safer. The bike lane is slated to be finished by the end of this year and carries a $3.2 million price tag. For the Vancouver Observer, I'm Jacob Barker.